welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a toddler kind of activity video. We have about a week's worth of rain and cloudy days ahead of us, so I wanted to kind of amp up my indoor activity. Playing game, we did do one activity outside because we were like, <laughs> counting down the minutes until it rained. But all of these activities can be done inside and most of them, if not all of them, with just products that you have around your house. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Give it a thumbs up and we'll jump right into it. For the first activity, we are doing apple stamping and you are going to need some paint, an apple, and for us, we were doing like googly eyes making pumpkins out of this. So what I did first was cut the apple right in half. To make the apple stamping a little easier for Sydney's little hands, I just created a little handle out of the apple. So first cut two slits just about a half an inch um, apart and then cut towards an angle to create a wedge on the sides of the handle part. You'll see what it comes out like when I show you here. I'm so bad at explaining things, but you can see what I'm doing, right? You just create wedges and notch the apple out to create this handle. So the activity I was doing, I was trying to create pumpkins, like jack-o'-lanterns, out of orange paint and apples, and uh, you'll see how it came out. So we used both red and orange. Too busy eating the apples. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take this apple and we're gonna stamp it in the orange paint, okay baby? And then we're gonna stamp it on the paper to make pumpkins. Okay. And then you're in my bed and under my skin Where will it end if I let it begin? So bittersweet, you know life's too short So let's not waste another minute One thing I've learned with Sydney is that she needs to do everything on her own right now. Um, so doing like a Pinteresty project, she might not be so into. She just kind of wants to swim in paint. So I let her kind of do her thing for a little bit. And then I made a separate sheet where I designated, you know, it to be the like actual craft, but that's okay. It's all about just keeping them entertained and kind of going with the flow. I'm, I'm learning to kind of loosen up my reins. Okay. So this is kind of the goal. <laughs> and then we will put some googly eyes on this one. What? This one, and then I'll have... Okay, put it right there. <gasps> and then Good and job! Then you okay, we'll do the other eyes. Whoa, those are red. Whoa. Those are red eyes, money. Okay, put the eyes on the dots. Like in this clip, you'll see Sydney was so upset that I was making her, not making her, but you know what I mean, like actually just doing the project. She wanted to just go to town. So I had to quickly swap out the like art project and with regular paper. Um, Cause you know, they're young. She just doesn't understand it. I thought she would think making pumpkins was cool, but in reality, I mean, she loves just to paint free, freely. <laughs> My little free spirit. And then while we were outside painting already, I thought that we would finish off this pumpkin that Sydney started painting a couple of days ago. Um, I got this like paper mache kind of pumpkin at uh, Michael's. They actually have quite a few different things for Halloween. They have skulls and whatnot. Um, I thought that was really cute. So she painted this orange a few days ago. And then today while we were outside, I gave her the green paint to paint the stem. But you will see, you know, she does what she wants. It's so cute though. The 
next activity that we did was putting pipe cleaners through a strainer colander. Um, this is like a fine motor skill uh, activity and Sydney actually really enjoyed this. I don't know why I haven't never done this before. I've seen it all over Pinterest, but Sydney, once she figured out how it worked, like instead of holding it way up there, <laughs> um, she really, really enjoyed this. And she ended up doing it about four times, um, within, I would say an hour or so, which is really a lot for her. She, her little attention span is five seconds. next activity is a Halloween themed version of the like baking soda vinegar volcano. So I just made a little cauldron shape out of black construction paper and you all know I am no artist so that's all right. I just kind of freehanded it and cut it out of construction paper and then taped a uh, paper cauldron to each side of a little plastic cup that we had on hand. So I wanted the foam to be green because I wanted it to look like a witch's cauldron, witch's brew, whatever it may be. So I put a bunch of green food coloring in the bottom of the cup and then a bunch of baking soda as well. My tip to, to you would be to mix it up a little bit so that the green kind of, you know, is nice and even because the first time we tried this it wasn't green at all. I placed it on a cookie sheet so that it would catch all the drippings and you just use vinegar, um, white still to vinegar or apple cider vinegar work both the same and you pour it directly in and watch everything bubble and foam. You guys wait till you see Sydney's reaction. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we <laughs> it's done. is that cool it's done, mommy. It's a wicked time. <gasps> for this next activity we are doing a rice bin and i cannot believe i have never done one of these before so I thought I would do a Halloween kind of themed rice bin. You guys, this is so incredibly easy. You just need some rice. Uh, white rice would allow the color to pop more, but I only had brown in my cupboard. And you do, for every one cup of rice that you use, you use one tablespoon of vinegar. So I ended up having only four cups on hand. So that's what I did. Four cups of rice into a freezer bag and four tablespoons of vinegar. And then whatever food coloring that you want to use, I wanted to make this orange for Halloween. So, so I just used a bunch of drops of yellow and red mixed together. And then you just seal up the bag and shake away and the color just kind of melts together. I didn't know how it would be with putting two different colors in there, but they mixed really well. The vinegar helps mix and Sydney wanted to get in on the mixing action. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, that's some good shaking. Keep shaking it. Good job. And then all I did was spread it onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, and I just spread it out into an even layer. And then it took about two hours to dry completely. Just, just test a little bit at a time. I would say two to three hours, um, depending on how large your actual batch is. I 
got these spider rings from the Target dollar spot. There was a big pack of them for $1. So I just put the spider rings all in the rice and Sydney wanted to join in on the action as well. And then I had some googly eyes that we just used for those arts and craft projects. And I thought those would be cool in this sensory bin. And Sydney is obsessed with the googly eyes right now. Okay. It's you got a it's googly a eye. <gasps> Whoa, Mama needs to get you some buckets. I'm gonna get you some buckets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you putting a googly eye on, Mama? Is it gonna stick? No. Cindy, what are you playing with? You got googly eyes? What's in there? Are those spiders? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna Whoa, and you have orange rice? Now Sydney's putting googly eyes on me. <laughs> How to entertain a toddler 101. <laughs> oh, I think you ripped some eyelashes out there, kiddo. <laughs> what? You're putting googly eyes on mommy? Can I put them on you? Oh, yeah, there's my mascara. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's an eyelash. She got an eyelash. That's okay. Eyelash. I'm gonna put Google on. I'm gonna put Google on and you are yay. Okay, this is entertaining her for so long. She ended up wanting in a bigger bowl and then she wanted, no, the rice doesn't go in the colander, remember? In the strainer. Um, and then she used the strainer that for the pipe cleaning activity um, too. So um, Sydney with sensory bins, she's entertained for so long. So if you have a toddler with a short attention span, definitely give sensory bins a try. No throwing rice. Um, and if you can do any color you want with rice or you can try it with spaghetti too. I've seen it done with spaghetti. Plugged in the Halloween lights. So we got those going, set the mood. And I looked over and she did this all on her own. She's separating the spiders and the eyes. I just found that one. So, oh, don't mind the hair. I, uh, I'm going to be picking up rice from my floor um, for the next year. And obviously there's hair. <laughs> She's been entertained by this for so long. Okay, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the activities that Sydney and I did. Those were just kind of spur of the moment, not really planned out activities. Um, if you guys like these types of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below because I have so many different ideas for Halloween or just in general to entertain a toddler with and I know um, you guys tend to like these videos. So I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's. Bye. Mwah.